Hello fellow peasants. Today we're going to be talking about do films suck now? All right guys, so welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you've been subscribed for the last few years, you might remember that little intro thing. I decided to uh, start putting that back in the videos. I kind of missed having my little theme song, my little shitty little pan flute in there. So that's making a comeback now. So I uh, hope, hope you enjoy that, <laughs> that, that little ditty there. Uh, so today we're just talking about, do films suck now? And so what do I mean by suck? I, well, by suck, I mean, do films today, are are they not up to par with films of the past? Are they crap quality compared to films of the past? Um, and what's the measuring stick for a good film? Well, measuring stick for a good film is good writing, good acting, good directing, there's there's a lot that goes into a good film. Tons of people have to work together on a project to make one vision come complete. Uh, it's not like, you know, uh, painting a painting where you're the only person working on the painting or uh, cooking a meal. You're the only person working in the kitchen making that meal. To make a film, for the most part, uh, Tons of different people have to get together with different skill sets, different talents, and that all has to mesh in a way that the final product is the vision of the writers or the director, um, and, and match that as close as possible. And when it's done right, um, and everyone's on board, uh, you know, and everyone's doing their, doing their job and they're passionate about the project, um, the movies turn out to be good. Um, passion doesn't always mean it's a good movie. You can, you can try your, you can bust your ass trying to make a movie and it, and it can turn out horrible. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Um, so today's movies, th there's a huge focus on, am I going to sit here and say every, um, movie today sucks no there's diamonds in the rough there's you know and by today well what do i mean now or by today i mean in the last 15 20 years um and i think compared if, if you take the creme de la creme i understand that every generation has a bunch of movies out there and over time, you only remember the good shit. You don't think about all the crap movies that were out in the 70s, 80s, 90s. You know what I mean? Um, you think of all the, the big hits. But if you even take today's big hits and compare them to movies 30, 40, 50 years ago, they're creme, creme de la creme. Do these films hold up to that? And I don't think they do. Uh, and a lot of times, the movies today, the big movies today, are are just sequels and remakes of those original IPs, <laughs> you know. And so, you can definitely compare and contrast because you're like, look, this, you know, for example, if if, if this new Indiana Jones movie uh, bombs and it's horrible, I haven't seen it yet. But if it's a complete piece of shit, uh, you know, I won't be shocked, you know, because um, that's kind of the trend. You know, these studios keep making films. Uh, they keep regurgitating the same stuff over and over because because it makes money. People keep going and paying to see it. I'm guilty of that. I go and see the same crap. Um, so... All in all, do films suck now? Yeah, they do. Overall, films suck now. Even the best movies that come out now are nowhere near the shit that came out 30, 40, 50 years ago. 
Um, one of the biggest movies uh, to come out recently was uh, Top Gun Maverick, right? I really like Top Gun Maverick. It's, it's the exception to the rule. It's better than the first Top Gun, in my opinion. It's uh, really rare for a movie to be that good. But for the most part, we're not getting blockbuster, culture-changing films. Like, we're not going to get another Exorcist. We're not going to get another The Godfather. We're not going to get another Shawshank Redemption, The Green Mile, Forrest Gump, Gone with the Wind, Rear Window, Psycho, uh, The Wizard of Oz. We're not going to get any more of those huge, major culture shifting films avatar is busting its balls to try and be that and it's just not james cameron's not doing it avatar is is not and will not ever be looked back upon as some sort of uh major cultural shift in hollywood uh yeah it, it makes a lot of money making a lot of money doesn't mean that it's good uh it just means a lot of people want to want to go see it, but you know its impact over time. Are people going to be watching Avatar in fifty years? Mm -hmm. I, I don't think they will. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, the, the, by then, the technology, the imagery, the CGI will be dated, dated to crap. I don't think it's going to age very well. I don't think the CGI is very good now, honestly. Uh, I think it looks cartoony to me. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what what my uh, original train of thought was here. Basically, guys, um, yes, every generation has its slew of movies, and you can always go and say, "Well, look, you know, even they had the shitty movies in the '70s." Yeah, they had shitty movies in the '70s, but their best films are better than our best films now. Nothing coming out now is as good as Taxi Driver, is as good as The Godfather, is as good as The Omen, The Shining. We're not, we're not getting, uh, you know, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Independence Day, Patriot Games. Um, just like, just think of all the good movies from back in the day, like the best of the best, and then compare and contrast what's out now. And do you do you think you're do you think you're going to be watching Guardians of the Galaxy in thirty years from now? I mean, is it that good? <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, now, are there some films out there that are good that are like more on the independent level and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but that's that's not what I'm talking. About. That's not what I, I'm comparing. Major theatrical releases here. You can always go and find people that are still doing decent cinema and telling great stories on a lower amateur uh, independent level. But I'm comparing uh, box office. I'm comparing uh, cultural shifts. I'm, I'm, I'm comparing the actual craft of major studio productions. Um, and a lot of it comes down to uh, studios don't want to take risk anymore. Studios want to keep repeating things. They don't want to, They don't want new ideas, really. The only people who really... who are making major motion films that take a lot of risk are people like, you know... Uh, Nolan. I mean... Nolan really pushes the boundary on some things. And Tarantino. But Tarantino... I mean, fuck, Tar Tarantino's been around for 30-some years now. You know, he's, he's not a new director... His biggest films were in the 90s. And so, do they suck now? Yes. Do they have to suck now? No, they don't have to suck. Hollywood could take risks on new ideas, new scripts, new writers, people who have ideas for things that haven't been done before, or at least done, but this is a completely different way of looking at it, like a different, coming from a different angle. Uh, I just think I just think movies. Uh, they just when I watch a lot of movies now, it feels like I'm watching a movie. 
it's very polished. A lot of it's digitally shot. It looks too clean. It doesn't look, it doesn't feel like real life. Um, I don't like the way a lot of things are shot now. Everything just looks like it's a Hallmark Channel movie. Everything's clean and clear and it looks, it looks like a movie set. I don't know how they did it, but somehow with all the technology and the money that goes into these movies now, the shit looks more fake than the crap from uh, the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Because you know why? Because back in the day, they didn't have the technology to put a green screen behind you to make you look like you're on a mountain. They were like, well, we got to climb this fucking mountain or take a helicopter up to it and put you on it. Because <laughs> they didn't have the technology to make it look like you're on the mountain. <laughs> you know, you had to go to the mountain. So in terms of that, the feeling of reality and feeling more real and you're in that space and uh, that alone, just the lack of technology forced the films back then to feel more realistic. You watch something now, it just looks like a daytime soap opera a lot of the times. You, I mean, just even the homes they're in, even the homes they're in. And then I know they used sets back in the day. You know, the, the, uh, movies have always used sets. But even you watch something now, you're like, oh my God, that, that's like a model home. No one lives like that. No one's house, no one's house looks like that. You know what I mean? Like, well, at least the average person's house doesn't look like that. Um... I don't know. There's a, there's just a sheen to everything now. Um, gives it this, this fake appearance. And I could do a whole video on that. But yeah, I think movies suck now. I don't think they're as good as they were 30, 40, 50 years ago. And I think it's due to corporate greed. They can want to keep making the same shit over and over again. They don't want to take any risk and make anything new. Uh, and they just want to keep regurgitating and repeating the same crap that they know has made them money over the last 50 years. And until they stop doing that, until morons like me and you quit giving them money at the movie theater, uh, they're not going to. Because they're like, well, you idiots want to keep you keep paying us, so we're going to keep giving you the same crap over and over again. So it's kind of, it's like this vicious cycle, you know? Um, but, all right, guys, that's about it. That's my thoughts. That's my rant on do films suck now? All right, guys, let me know what you think. Do you think films suck now? Or do you think they don't? Let me know. Peace out, peasants. Bye-bye.